Washington Street. Um, this is one of our new construction projects. Um, we own the building to the right, 223 Washington Street, and the building to the left, 227 Washington Street. We bought these about a year ago um, with a lot uh, in the middle of these two. This used to be a building, um, a row house building that was there. It burnt down several years ago, a long time ago, uh, and no one ever really did anything with it. Um, so the seller didn't want to go through the difficulty of building. I don't blame them. It's been an absolute nightmare. Um, if I had a chance to do it again, I probably still would because I just like stuff like this. I actually love stuff like this. But um, the idea of trying to construct a building in between two other buildings, a little difficult. We've learned a lot through the process. One of our, one of our earlier ground up projects. And um, you can see, again, we bought this, this package together more than a year ago. And we're just now really getting to the point where we're pouring a foundation in the ground. One of the most difficult things that we've had to go through over here is this construction, this, this construction right here. This is a very busy street on Washington Street. And basically what you're seeing is all these little orange cones are traffic, uh, traffic barriers, the fence up uh, to prevent people from falling into a 10 foot foundation on uh, various other things. So in order to get this done, you have to submit a traffic management plan um, to your city, a construction management plan and a traffic management plan. And basically what that means is that as we, can, as we occupy this sidewalk, and you need a sidewalk occupancy permit. So it's a lot that goes into it. Um, you know, a bond, a sidewalk occupancy permit, a traffic management plan, a construction management plan. All these things need to be designed by an architect, excuse me, an engineer uh, and put together. And, um, and once it's all approved by the city, um, and one of the more difficult things that we had is not only getting it approved, but getting it approved during COVID. Uh, very busy, very, 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 very busy street during COVID and a lot of planning uh, to put this building up. Um, so we finally got it done uh, maybe three or four months ago, and now we're getting into the excavation. One of the other things that's difficult about this is there's no space, there's no, there's no way out back, there's no way out front. So as we're excavating, as we're taking dirt out of here, you really can't, there's no place to go. The excavator has to kind of pull the dirt back out, put it into the truck and haul it off somewhere else. Um, and then the foundation guy kind of comes in, pours the uh, backside of the foundation, excavation guy comes in, puts the dirt to the back of the foundation, um, and then we pour the side walls and then the front. And we'll show you a little bit of what the foundation looks like right now, but very time consuming, cumbersome process. Um, and then meanwhile, if you can see it over here, we had a drunk driver actually hit our, our, the side of our wall at 223 Washington Street right there. Um, so there's a little damage to that building as well. And the plan with that is, is to, to wait um, until we do the brick facade uh, and then have the same guys that are doing our facade here actually repair that brick for us as well. So um, excited, the framing, the, the foundation is almost done. We're going to be putting the the framing is going to go up pretty quickly it's a pretty pretty rectangular box here so it should go up pretty quickly and then what we'll do is as you can see all these bricks uh, all these buildings are brick uh, we'll have the uh, the masonry guys come out and uh, and build us uh, the brick facade in the front and back as well um, so let's take a look and see what the guys are doing in terms of the foundation um, the front of our foundation is nearly complete that's this front wall right here and then you have the utilities, um, if you can see them. Uh, once the excavator comes back in, backs fill this whole area, you'll have the utilities coming in off the street, which is your gas line, your plumbing line, um, your main drain going back out to the street for your plumbing, uh, and then the water, uh, main water line coming in as well. So um, we started with that back wall down there, then went up and worked on a couple of side walls, did this front wall right here. And you can see that curve is nice and that curve is basically gonna be just like the curve on these buildings right here. And now guys are working on uh, our side wall over there, uh, raising the height of the side wall. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, we'll have the floor poured um, and then we'll be ready for inspection uh, and to frame things up. So really exciting. I'm excited to see this thing framed up and uh, we'll give you guys an update as soon as it is.